Hi guys, uh, I hope uh, yesterday's um, Google Meet was useful um, and you managed to sort of work through the, that sort of eight mark question. Uh, if you haven't finished that, um, that's your starting point for today. Uh, so please make sure that you've done that and then handed it in through the assignment in Google Classroom. Uh, what I want you guys to do next is you're going to start looking at what happened after the Tsar abdicated. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, there were two basically governments that formed. Uh, one was the Provisional Government um, and one was the Petrograd Soviet. Okay, very sort of difference in terms of, of, of what they were. The Petrograd Soviet was made up more of the liberals and moderates who had formed the Duma um, when the Tsar had sort of stepped down. OK, um, so those were sort of very, very kind of different the, in, in terms of the Petrograd Soviet, who were mostly made up of the Bolsheviks, the Mensheviks, uh, the social revolutionaries, um, those more r radical kind of left wing parties. OK, uh, so what you're going to look at over this next lesson is the difference between the two, um, the struggle between the two. Um, and how these two um, very sort of opposing parties sometimes work together, um, but obviously sometimes uh, went against each other. Ultimately, uh, it was the Bolsheviks that managed to seize power. Um, and what you want to understand is how were they able to do that? OK, uh, so what I want you to do to start with is first just have a read through this uh, PowerPoint. OK, you don't need to make notes um, to start with, but just read through it. Um, what I'm then going to get you guys to do is I have put a Google Doc together with a series of questions. The majority of the answers you will be able to find in the PowerPoint. Um, if you feel you can't find them there, they will ask most certainly then in your textbook. OK, some of these questions will require you to use your textbook, uh, but it just gives you an overview. So it just gives you an understanding. We want to know who these key people are, what was their role, because uh, these are sort of very influential people that kind of names will come up time and time again. Um, we kind of want to look in terms of some of the, the uh, weaknesses um, and also some of the mistakes that the provisional government uh, are made during that initial takeover of power after the Tsar abdicated. So we kind of understand, uh, firstly, the difficult position that they were in, um, but also understand why the people of Russia didn't really support them um, or to the degree that they needed for the support. OK, so you'll have a look in through some of these and then identify some of the strengths and weaknesses. Uh, before you start looking in more detail uh, about uh, the Bolsheviks' role, okay? Um, a lot of this revolves around Lenin being brought back into the picture, okay? So the Germans brought him back in um, from, obviously, he went into exile, um, uh, and, and but the Germans were keen to bring this guy back in because obviously you bring a revolutionary back in. Um, the Germans are hoping that the war will they will then stop the war. OK, so the Germans don't have to fight a war on the Western Front and the Eastern Front. Um, so it was very much in Germany's uh, interest to uh, stop the war with Russia. OK, uh, so you'll do a little bit of investigatory work, particularly around Lenin's April thesis. OK, it's a very famous sort of speech that he sort of stood up uh, and the focus of it all being around um, peace, land and bread. OK, and all power to the Soviets. All right. So we're going to look in terms of those slogans uh, and then we're going to kind of understand a bit about the uh, the Kornilov revolt. OK, so this is where General Kornilov uh, tried to go back to a more uh, autocratic kind of rule, a dictator rule, a more right wing hard line um, and how the provisional government used the Bolsheviks. Um, to fight against uh, General Kornilov. 
Okay, so that's kind of what we're going to be exploring at. You will have the rest of today's lesson to do this. You will also have Monday's lesson to do this. Okay, so it's quite a bit of uh, sort of reading and things around these topic areas. So I want to make sure that you write the answers, that you've got enough detail in them. Okay, it's not sort of a, some of them will require a sentence. Some of them are going to require a paragraph uh, for you to, to, to write here. Okay, as I said, Use the PowerPoint that you've got. Use your textbooks. If you've got any questions, you can ask through uh, Google Hangouts, um, Google Classroom. You can email me. Um, otherwise, guys, what we'll try and do is then have another Google Meet um, during Thursday's lesson next week. Uh, is it Thursday we meet? No, I think it's Friday next week that we actually meet. Okay. Um, otherwise, uh, good luck. Uh, let me know if there's anything you need.